Are you tired of living paycheck to paycheck? Do you wish you could finally gain control over your finances? In this video, we'll be revealing the top 5 money habits that could be holding you back from financial success. We will also look at actionable insights and recommendations on how to overcome these habits and commence your journey towards financial prosperity. Whether you're a recent graduate struggling to pay off your student loans or a seasoned professional looking to take your finances to the next level, this video is for you. In fact, there are several habits that can keep you trapped in a cycle of poverty, and in this video, we're going to discuss some of the most common ones that we can all relate to. But don't worry, we're not just here to list the problems. We're also going to provide you with practical tips and tricks that you can start implementing today to overcome these habits and start building a brighter financial future for yourself and your family. So, if you're ready to take control of your finances, then you're in the right place. Without further delay, let's dive into the video. Number 1. Excessive Credit Card Debt Warren Buffett once said, If you buy things you do not need, soon you will have to sell things you need. Let's face it, we all have bad money habits, and one of the most common is becoming too comfortable with bad debt. Nowadays, debt has become so normalized that people use it to purchase even the smallest of things, like gifts or clothes. But here's the truth. If you can afford to pay for something outright with cash, you shouldn't be buying it using any form of debt. Let's not fall for the tricks of credit card companies who want us to be reckless with our finances so they can make money. Despite any benefits or rewards they offer, the average credit card interest rate is a staggering 22%, which can quickly cancel out any gains. Some of the ideas that will help you come out of this habit and build a stronger financial future are number 1. Cutting down credit cards one effective solution is to cut down your credit cards. This may sound drastic, but it can be a powerful way to break the habit of using credit cards for unnecessary purchases. By physically cutting up your credit cards, you'll be making it much harder to use them, which can help you avoid impulse purchases and overspending. Furthermore, cutting up your credit cards can help you change your relationship with money. It forces you to think about each purchase and whether it's worth spending your hard-earned money on. This can help you prioritize your spending and focus on the things that truly matter to you. Another benefit of cutting up your credit cards is that it can help you avoid debt. If you're not using your credit cards, you won't be racking up debt and paying high interest rates. This can help you get out of debt faster and improve your overall financial health. Number 2. Use a debit card instead For those who prefer the convenience of using a plastic card for their purchases, there is a safer alternative to credit cards. Using a debit card can provide many of the same benefits without the risk of racking up high interest debt. One significant benefit of using a debit card is that you can only spend what you have in your account. This means that you won't be able to overspend or go into debt, which can be a huge relief for those who struggle with credit card debt. Another advantage of using a debit card is that it's easier to manage your finances. You'll have a clear picture of how much money you have available for spending, and you won't have to worry about tracking credit card balances or due dates. Number 3. Set up a no-spend challenge You can challenge yourself to go a week or a month without spending any money, except for essential items such as groceries and bills. During the no-spend challenge, you'll need to be creative and find ways to enjoy your time without spending money. For example, you can go for a walk in the park, have a picnic, or read a book. You can also take advantage of free events in your community, such as concerts or museums. Not only will the no-spend challenge help you break the habit of relying on credit cards, but it can also help you save money and become more mindful of your spending habits. By the end of the challenge, you may find that you've developed new habits that will help you control your spending and make wiser financial decisions in the future. Number 2. Manage Lifestyle Inflation as we progress in our careers, it's natural to want to upgrade our lifestyles. But it's important to make sure that our spending habits remain within our means. As Robert Kiyosaki said, it's not how much you make, but how much money you keep, how hard it works for you, and how many generations you keep it for. For example, let's consider Bill and Jeff. Bill, who earns $60,000 a year and spends $45,000, and Jeff, who earns $150 a year but spends $175,000. Despite earning less, Bill may be in a better financial position due to his superior money management skills. Unfortunately, lifestyle inflation tends to be a natural consequence of rising up the career ladder for most people. While acceptable within reason, it's critical to ensure that you're spending within your means. As soon as you start taking on debt to maintain a certain lifestyle, 
it becomes problematic. To preserve your financial freedom, make sure you only spend what you can afford. You could try to manage lifestyle inflation with these. Automate your savings. Use automatic transfers to regularly move a portion of your income into a savings or investment account before you have the chance to spend it. Delay gratification. When you feel the urge to splurge on a new purchase or experience, try delaying it for a certain period of time. This will give you a chance to evaluate whether it's a necessary expense or just a fleeting desire. Find cheaper alternatives. Look for ways to enjoy the same experiences or products for less. This could include using coupons, buying secondhand, or choosing a more affordable option. Remember, keeping your expenses in check is an ongoing process that requires discipline and commitment. By creating a budget and living below your means, you can avoid lifestyle inflation and achieve financial security. Number three, not investing in yourself. Investing in yourself is one of the most crucial steps you can take towards achieving financial stability and growth. Whether it's acquiring new skills, pursuing higher education, or developing your personal brand, investing in yourself can lead to a better job, higher salary, and improved overall financial standing. On the flip side, neglecting to invest in yourself can severely limit your earning potential and career growth. This may include avoiding professional development opportunities or failing to keep up with industry trends and technological advancements. It's important to recognize that investing in yourself doesn't always require significant financial investment. There are numerous resources available, such as online courses, free educational content, and mentorship programs that can help you develop new skills and knowledge without breaking the bank. Set clear goals. Define your personal and professional goals and make a plan to achieve them. This can give you a sense of purpose and motivation to invest in yourself. Start small. Investing in yourself doesn't always mean spending money. Start with small habits like reading a book, taking an online course, or attending a workshop. Gradually build upon these habits to create a lifelong learning mindset. Prioritize your time. Make time for personal development by scheduling it into your daily routine. Treat it like any other important task and be consistent with it. Embrace failure. Don't let your fear of failure hold you back from investing in yourself. Instead, view failure as an opportunity to learn and grow. Embracing failure can help you develop resilience and the ability to bounce back from setbacks. Surround yourself with like-minded people. Surrounding yourself with people who have similar goals and values can inspire and motivate you to invest in yourself. Join a community or attend networking events to connect with others who are also investing in themselves. So take the time to identify your strengths and areas for improvement and invest in yourself accordingly. It may require some effort and dedication, but the long-term benefits of improved career prospects and financial stability are well worth it. Remember, neglecting to invest in yourself is like leaving a seed unplanted. You may see some growth, but you'll never reach your full potential. Number four, paying only the minimum amount due on your debt. One common bad money habit is only paying the monthly minimum on your credit card. While it may seem like an easy way to manage your debt, it can actually cost you more in the long run. For instance, let's say you have a credit card balance of $5,000 with an interest rate of 18% and the minimum payment is $100 per month. If you only pay the minimum amount, it will take you over 20 years to pay off your debt and you'll end up paying almost $11,000 in interest charges alone. To avoid falling into the minimum payment trap, it's crucial to understand that the balance listed on your credit card statement is the actual amount you owe, and the minimum payment is just a fraction of that. To truly get out of debt, you need to pay more than the minimum payment each month. For example, if you can afford to pay $200 per month instead of the minimum $100, you'll be able to pay off the debt in about three years and save over $8,000 in interest charges. By making it a priority to pay more than the minimum each month, you'll be taking control over debt and avoiding the costly cycle of accumulating interest charges. So, the next time you receive your credit card statement, remember that paying more than the minimum amount can make a significant difference in your financial situation. Number five, relying on only one source of income. Relying on only one source of income is a common mistake that many people make. While it may seem secure to have a steady paycheck from a single job, it can also leave you vulnerable to financial difficulties if that source of income suddenly disappears. An unforeseen event, such as job loss or a decline in business revenue, can leave you without sufficient income to sustain your livelihood if you rely on a single source of income. 
and it can also lead to you missing out potential opportunities to grow your career. By exploring new income streams, you may discover a passion or talent that you never knew existed. There are several methods to diversify your sources of income, including freelancing, online selling, blogging, becoming an online tutor, investing, renting out your space, or utilizing gig economy platforms like Uber or Lyft. You can explore these options in various ways to find the most suitable one for your skills, interests, and lifestyle. The biggest risk in life is not taking risks at all. With the right mindset and practical steps, you can break free from bad money habits and achieve financial stability and success. Remember, it's never too late to start taking control of your finances and making positive changes that will benefit you in the long run. What is the most memorable takeaway for you in this video? Comment your thoughts, and if you want to see more videos or summaries about books where you can get the best financial advice, then make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Like our video and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you can be updated whenever we have a new upload.